8,000 and something something uh, subscribers. Wow, I, th I think it's around 8,100 now. Uh, I never thought I'd get that, guys. What's good, my fellow peasants? How you all doing? Praise be to Yevon. I think this is our fifth prize giveaway. It's giveaway time, guys. Time to win some prizes for all my Patreon pezzies. Uh, for any new uh, peasants, because I get this asked quite a lot, how do I get on the wall at the end? How do I get into these giveaways? Head over to my Patreon, link in the description. It will explain it all over there. So let's do it, guys. Let's jump into it. Got new guys to add to the wall. Um, I'm loving this so much. And I've been loving this so much. The art you guys been sending me. The gifts. The gifts have been the thing that have just blown my mind. I'm still reeling. I mean, <laughs> Tom Dog over here was from one of you guys. Cactoodle. <laughs> Moogie Pie. <laughs> Anyone who has it played World of Final Fantasy and wants to know how I'm finding it, it's Ace! <laughs> I'm loving it, guys. It's a really fun game. Uh, and just some absolute pure go comedy moments. I've actually been laughing close to tears at points. So give it a go if you fancy it. That's what I'm going to say about it. Now, before I do the giveaway, guys, this is the other thing. And this is what I'm probably most excited about. You guys have asked for merchandise. Some of you proud peasants who want to support me, want to support... Uh, the channel, because we are, we're the Final Fantasy Peasants, we're ready to storm Square Enix, we've got a force behind us, and it I needed some merchandise. So, some dope designs have come out, I've got to thank Uncanny Broders and Dan Raven, two of our peasants up on our wall as well. I believe it's the Tombury and... I can't... Broders, are you on the wall? I can't remember, but I need your guys' opinion. So these will be live soon, if you want to support me, support the channel, and if you just think the designs are oh, dope as fuck, then I want you to go vote on these. So here's the first one. There'll be a poll, top corner. This one... <laughs> so uh, someone wanted my chibi lightning off me and they asked, was it a giveaway? And this was my response, is it a giveaway? No, get fucked. <laughs> um, that's, the, that's the text at the moment. Do you like the chibi lightning? Do you like her presenting the middle finger to everyone else? Because you know, like, <laughs> she wouldn't want everyone to think she's cute. I think the middle finger is dope. I love this design and I want a slogan that goes with it. A slogan. So I need you guys in the comment section to give me some ideas. What would you think would be a good slogan? What would you like to wear? Something that Lightning might say or something she would present the middle finger for. Don't call me cute. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Uh... These two designs are super dope. First off, Goofy Headset, Engaged. We are gamers, guys. Every gamer has a Goofy Headset. Engage the Goofy Headsets proudly. Mine's dying. I think this is a super dope design. This is going to be on a t-shirt, by the way. I'm going to make all of these available real soon. Would you buy this? Would you love this? Do you like it? And do you, if you like the Moogle, do you like the Cactua? Let me know, guys. This is just all in there. And now this next design, when I saw this, <laughs> blew my mind so this one check it out guys final fantasy peasant if you're a final fantasy peasant you want to support the channel that that design is so dope uh with the weapons i think there's gobrant's weapon in there there's even the trident from 15 uh uncanny broders he really outdid himself with this design so this could be available they're going to be pretty damn cheap um, i want to set those all up do you like them? Go to the poll, let me know. Would you get these? Would you like them? All of that good shit aside, let's get into the giveaways. Um, no, let's give it, let's update the wall first of all. So first up we have, and we need a third wall. I'll just say, we are now on the third gen of peasants. And first to tick it off is Aeon Sunrider. Aeon Sunrider, what a name. And he gave me a huge picks to choose from, from Glaukia. Arania, Varn, Ace, Shadow, Kate Sith, Angeal, uh, or Balthia. And he said, you pick. And of course, I had to pick Balthia. Now, Aeon Sunrider, he's one of uh, my biggest donators, huge donator to the channel. He also requested a compilation video. So, a compilation of all my theories. Quite a few of you asked me for that. I might try to sneak that in before the release date. We've only got 20 days left to go. So Aeon Side Rider up there on Peasants of Light. Next up we have Maya Sotus. And you picked, well I kind of thought you picked Iris. I'm going to put you in here from now. But I kind of got Maya Sotus confused. She either wanted Iris or Crow. 
but then said they wanted Crow, and we both agreed that Crow was such a dope character in King Clay. She didn't deserve that ending. Uh, Ask me how peasant life was treating me, because uh, I am now a full-time peasant. I am loving it. But, I mean, on the flip side, considering how long I work, I mean, I now do actually... You kind of think that if you become a YouTuber, you would uh, lax off a lot more. You really don't. I honestly do work, guys, 16, 17 hour days. So, how am I finding peasant life? Uh, I think that this sums it up pretty aptly. I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> So I'm gonna update you to Crow in just a second. Uh, next up, level 99 guy. Level 99 guy was our Tifa winner last week. Had only signed up, hadn't even paid their first um, instalment of Patreon. That's why they've only been updated now, and that they won. So it just goes to show you guys, even on your first go, you can win. Everyone's name's going in the pot, in the magic pot, uh, and picked Garnet. Last time we spoke was playing FF8 playthrough. How did you get on level 99, guy? I'm going to be following that playthrough up myself straight after 15. Please be excited. Next up, uh, oh yes, Peasant of Light. Lady Trin Trini picking Sarah. What a pick. What a pick. Sarah's one of my favourite ladies in the thingy, uh, in the entire franchise. Either wanted um, Aerith, I believe, was, was this or Aerith, but Elis was our Aerith. Uh, Lady Trin Trini's been a fan of the franchise for 15 years, completed the 10 sphere grid and loves 10 2, just like me. I ain't never completed the sphere grid, I never will. Just like I ain't dodging 200 lightning strikes. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and I didn't know which one to pick for Lady Trin Trini. There's so many outfits for Sarah. I love the, um, I love this riot gear Sarah. I think this is a dope Sarah. This one is possibly one of my favourite outfits. White Mage there is pretty dope, but I am the Final Fantasy pervert, so of course I had to engage. And now I, <laughs> yeah, I picked this one. Uh, I think that this is the one that has um, Sarah's face is the nicest. That's why I picked it. And you're going in there, Lady Trintrini. Welcome aboard the team. Uh, yep, yeah, flipping over my associates from Iris to Crow. So Iris is up, guys. If you want Iris, jump on board. And she's all yours. Crow. Oh, Crow. Such a dope character. Well, could have been such a dope character. I'll say that. I, I was really liking her. Fucks. I'll always be disappointed about that. But on the flip side, they've announced that she's now got a different English voice actor for some reason. Why is that? The movie's over. Is Crow returning? Mm. I hope so, so much. Next up, picking Hope was Sam Bagel. Uh, really wanted Lightning, was heartbroken that someone had chored it. I think that's Kurt and Laurie uh, stole Lightning. Uh, but was perfectly happy to get either Sarah or Hope because Sam Bagel absolutely adores the 13 trilogy. Or F of 13. I guess the 13 trilogy. Uh, also getting both the collectors for World of Final Fantasy and 15. I'm getting the collectors 15 Ultimate Collector's Edition. I thought I'd got the Ultimate the collector's edition for World of Fire Fantasy. Somehow I didn't. I don't know how I missed out on that. But I love 13 too. So you are more than welcome aboard. It's kicking off the peasant of the round on third wall. Next up was Slushy Addict picking um, <laughs> Cypher. Now, I had to pick them at a classic Cypher model. This is a classic Cypher. This is what you wanted, right? I assume you wanted this cipher. I think this is theatre rhythm cipher. I'm joking. You can have real cipher. There we go. Cipher's a dope character. Um, FF8 loves it. Loves the combat. Favourite scenes in FF8 are the preps, the preparations against Adia, and the battle between the two gardens. Um, was it Trabia and Balam? No. Galbadia and Balam, I think it was. That was a dope scene. I know the one you're talking about. Oh, see, this is why I need to play eight again. Welcome aboard, slushy addict. Addicted to slushies. Uh, <laughs> Sanshiro went rude, and I had to do classic um, model rude. Classic model rude just <laughs> makes me crack up. Oh, so much love for rude. Um, so Sanshiro uh, often pops into the uh, streams, part of the hashtag live stream crew always good to have Sanshiro aboard going on peasants of lights and uh, next up why well, have I got this in here I don't know why well this is Pez generation one oh this is why yes we've got an upgrade sadly Brillman was here 
was Vivi he sat here but sadly has upgraded from Peasants of the Round, uh, Seventh Dawn sorry, to a Peasant of Light. In you go sadly. Uh, and I think, I think Brill Man, did you get your gift? You uh, won Aerith, didn't you? If I remember correctly. Did Aerith come? Did she get lost in the live stream? Let me know. Uh, next up, Alex Atkins picking Queen. Oh, yes. As many Type 0 characters. I'm not going to rest until we have the entirety of Class 0 on the Wall of the Peasants. Um, even if that means we have to have 10 generation peasants, it's going to happen. Queen is such an animal on the battlefield. Um, part of the hashtag live stream crew often checks in. Hopes they continue Brotherhood as well. Honestly, I re this is probably one of my biggest hopes that they continue the Brotherhood anime series. I don't care how, just do it because I love it. Um, also told me to embrace the hobo-ness of my hair. I didn't, I got it cut and now I just look like a massive lesbian. Um, so thanks for supporting my walkthrough videos. Much appreciate Alex Atkins and thanks for coming. A patron peasant. Uh, next up, David P with another Type Zero character. And we're going eight. Uh, David P uh, messaged me saying that he decided to support me on Patreon because he sees me as a way of growing the Final Fantasy community. I hope that's the case. I hope I can do it. Um, <laughs> I hope I can represent. I've got so many plans. Uh, I've even got plans very quickly uh, in the pipeline to bring on another person. Uh, I've got a friend who's kind of dope at this kind of shit as well if we could work together all of the big plans i have to make the radio channel the 24 hour channel so many plans i want to work through guys um i really hope i could do it <laughs> but it, we're kicking off to a good start considering i've only been really youtubing for five months a damn good start uh, favorite game was crisis core for david p um also cried at it just like me but also finds he gets a lot of slack for loving Crisis Core. Uh, I know what you're talking about, man. When I go over to certain Facebook groups or forums and I say that my favourite's 10 2 or 13 2 or Type 0, you best believe I'll get hate. But I am so glad that I've never seen that on this channel. Never seen it. I think we've got all the best Final Fantasy fans on this channel. I really do. I mean that I actually do. Like, I gave up on Facebook fan groups. Um, a long time ago they were just pissing me off it is a constant battle of who's the best villain who's the best hero what's the best game seven shit seven's overrated 13 shit eight shit no, yeah. no thanks uh, <laughs> david p going down on the round um and i'll just say selecting eight for you led me down some really weird avenues i was looking for eight character models this is what google images led me to <laughs> I don't even know. Next up, we have Lady Fallen from Grace. Catherine Gracie, the Lady Fallen from Grace. Utterly graceless, utterly disgraceful. And she's going Genova to fit her title. Uh, I didn't know what Genova you wanted. So there was this one, which is not really sexy at all. Not really sexy Genova at all again, big fat squid Genova. Getting a little bit sexier. Getting a little bit cute. Don't know why I put that in there. <laughs> and finally, I saw this model. I thought this was a dope Genova model. Hope you like that, Catherine Grace. Um, always brings high, uh, like humor to the live stream. Part of the hashtag live stream crew. Checks in almost all the time. I think Lady Fall of Grace has become one of the peasant favourites, straight up on Peasant of Light. Also tipped me on um, my walkthrough videos. I've only had a few tips on, on there, I've got some plans, but the tips have been huge and it's really appreciated. I need to get a new desk, I need to get a new monitor, I need to get a second monitor. <laughs> I need. There's so much I need to get guys. I need to get a fucking chair that doesn't squeak and looks like shit and makes my green screen react. Uh, but I'm a peasant, so any donations, any tips, all of this Patreon support, um, it really does help and it does go towards this channel. Uh, next up is some changes. This one was, I believe it was, Smoking Jobs. He has gone up from Peasant of the Round to Peasant of Light. In you go, Smoking Jobs. Also, Brett. Brett was down here with Lightning Returns Snow. Brett is now a peasant of light. Of course, I had to move you over to this wall. Um, peasant of light spots fill up real damn quick. And then finally, we are adding Sean K. 
picking Edgar. Sean K is also part of the hashtag livestream crew. The kites always brings a good laugh. Um, thank you, man. Much appreciated. Edgar, solid pick. I saw this model and I'd, I'd never seen this model before. And I was kind of thinking, has Edgar always worn that kind of poncy, Rem Arony like skirt? <laughs> and I realised he has. Why does Edgar wear that skirt? It kind of looks dope in certain angles and a bit camping on us. <laughs> so there we go, guys. I think that's everyone. In you go, Sean K, Peasant of the Round. Are we good? Are the walls good? So this is what we're looking like, guys. Peasant Generation 3, 2, 1. We're looking good, guys. It's all coming together. Thanks so much. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with the prize giveaways. Here's the new prizes you can win. Or no, here's where the old ones. Uh, cloud, I think Tree picked the Cloud plushie. Um, level 99 guy and got the Tifa. No point in me giving World of Final Fantasy away anymore because the game's already out. So, these are the new prizes. Underneath my corner coat is double chin. And between my two mushroom ears. This is what you can win. Oh, you best believe trading card games. Uh, I've just got mine, by the way, come through. I opened it live on my channel and I'm so hyped. So, I've still got my... 10 packs to open, I've still got my 7 packs to open, I've opened my 13 pack, um, got some really dope cards in it guys, I even bought a bo booster pack, and I've got sparkly snow, sparkly snow, oh man, I am so hyped about playing this game, when I opened this I squealed like a little girl, opening trading card games is like heroin, it gets addictive as hell, I've already gone and placed more orders, uh, who's got their trading cards, who would like to play, I'm thinking of setting up a webcam thing, and actually having uh, games on my channel so we can actually compete and play on the channel who'd be up for it let me know in the comment section below you gotta give me a lot of feedback from this video guys uh, so here we go uh, let's get on with it what have I got this picture for oh yes 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 one of the prizes is this here now this is scroll wall scroll art some of you said that you really like scroll uh, wall scrolls so I decided to do that now you're actually going to be able to pick two so I should have actually put times two there. You'll be able to pick two of any of these designs. Any two you like. So if you want to pick that prize, be my guest. I'll probably put this on next uh, the next giveaway as well. Uh, so here we go, guys. Let's crack on with it. Ugh. Freshly cut today. Um, so here's all the old names. Here's all the new ones. So I'm just going to go through some. This can be the um, this could be the dry run. Lady Fallen from Grace is in there. Smoking Jobs. Michael H. Just so you can see your names going in there. Alex Atkins going in there. Sean K. Primal. Uh, B Primal, sorry. Uh, are there are some of you who need to pick your name still. I think Tweedy Gamer, you kind of picked Corleonis, but that was taken. I weren't sure if you messaged me. So let me know, bro. And yeah, huge shout out to all my. Um, even the peasants who haven't picked yet. There are about nine or ten of you. Shout out to you guys as well. Um, that's a blank. <laughs> David P going in there. Dan AK A Raven going in there. Lady Trin Trini. You get it, guys. So here we go. Um, let's pour in the names. Let's tip them in. Into the pot of magic, the magic pot, the non-poverty pot, the pot of fields, the pot of emotion. Let's do it. Let's give it a nice good stir. We've done our dry run. So the next name I pull out will be this week's winner. Sorry, that fell out. That didn't count. <laughs> okay. My goodness I can't believe I've picked this out here we go guys so to this week's winner is and he just so happens to be one of the people who <laughs> has produced that um, Cactua goofy headset Cactua engaged picture again vote let me know if you like those uh, shirt designs Dan aka Raven you are the winner man I can't believe that um, so yeah pick what you want man let me know and again, thank you everyone for the support. 
Bravo. I don't know why my adrenaline's rushing. <laughs> it always does when I do giveaways. It makes me feel a little itchy. <laughs> Oh, it makes me feel a little itchy. I, I, I feel a bit perturbed after I've done giveaway videos. I don't know why. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Uh, FF15 is coming up real fast. I will be doing playthrough, guys. And again, in two weeks, I'm going to do three prize giveaways. So there's going to be three winners. I want more of you to win stuff. Uh, as many as I can. I'm even probably just going to do a huge, like, booster pack giveaways as well. All kind of, like, free ones to any peasants. Uh, I also, with the sword the swords i showed the swords off and i said whoever told me the best ff joke would win the swords uh, a few have been asked me when we're going to hear about that i'm in the middle of doing the video put all the jokes some of them made me <laughs> absolutely crack up someone is definitely winning so look out for that video guys it might just be your joke that made me cry 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 with laughter 81 8100 subs pushing for 15k by the end of the year if we have 15,000 uh, I'm going to send Squadix an email again I don't know about what I'm just gonna send them an email and just be like yo give us free shit give the peasants free shit or give us early access to 15 give us something there's 15,000 fans here we need to say what do you guys think again vote let me know thanks again until the next video Come on!